Australia, Wikipedia article audio. List of cities in Australia by population, list of cities and towns in Papua New Guinea by population. Australia, sometimes known in technical contexts by the names Sahul, Australinia, or Meganesia, to distinguish it from the Australian mainland, is a continent comprising mainland Australia, Tasmania, New Guinea, New Britain, and small neighbouring islands. Situated in the geographical region of Oceania, it is the smallest of the seven traditional continents in the English conception. Countries within the continent include Australia, Papua New Guinea and, partially, Indonesia. Etymology Geology The continent lies on a continental shelf overlain by shallow seas which divide it into several land masses the Arafura Sea and Torres Strait between mainland Australia and New Guinea, and Bay Strait between mainland Australia and Tasmania. When sea levels were lower during the Pleistocene Ice Age, including the last glacial maximum about 18,000 BC, they were connected by dry land. During the past 10,000 years, rising sea levels overflowed the lowlands and separated the continent into today's low-lying arid to semi-arid mainland and the two mountainous islands of New Guinea and Tasmania. New Zealand is not part of the continent of Australia, but of the separate, submerged continent of Zealandia. New Zealand and Australia are both part of the Oceanian subregion known as Australasia, with New Guinea being in Melanesia. The term Oceania is often used to denote the region encompassing the Australian continent and various islands in the Pacific Ocean that are not included in the seven continent model. Papua New Guinea, a country within the continent, is one of the most culturally diverse countries in the world and also one of the most linguistically diverse places on Earth. It is also one of the most rural, as only 18% of its people live in urban centers. West Papua is home to an estimated 44 uncontacted tribal groups. Australia the largest landmass in the continent, is highly urbanized, and has the world's 13th largest economy with the second highest human development index globally. Australia also has the world's ninth largest immigrant population. The first settlers of Australia, New Guinea, and the large islands just to the east arrived between 50,000 and 30,000 years ago. Archaeological terminology for this region has changed repeatedly. Prior to the 1970s, the single Pleistocene landmass was called Australasia, derived from the Latin Australis, meaning southern, although this word is most often used for a wider region that includes lands like New Zealand that are not on the same continental shelf. In the early 1970s, the term Greater Australia was introduced for the Pleistocene continent. Then at a 1975 conference and consequent publication, the name Sahul was extended from its previous use for just the Sahul shelf to cover the continent. In 1984 W. Filewood suggested the name Meganesia, meaning Great Island or Great Island Group for both the Pleistocene continent and the present-day lands, and this name has been widely accepted by biologists. Others have used Meganesia with different meanings, travel writer Paul Theroux included New Zealand in his definition and others have used it for Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii. Another biologist, Richard Dawkins, coined the name Australinia in 2004. Australia New Guinea has also been used. Ecology With a total land area of 8.56 million square kilometres, the Australian continent is the smallest, and second lowest human inhabited continent on Earth. The continental shelf connecting the islands, half of which is less than 50 metres deep, 
covers some 2.5 million square kilometers, including the Sahul Shelf and Base Strait. As the country of Australia is mostly on a single landmass, and comprises most of the continent, it is sometimes informally referred to as an island continent, surrounded by oceans. Australia, being part of the Indo-Australian plate, is the lowest, flattest and oldest landmass on Earth and it has had a relatively stable geological history. Geological forces such as tectonic uplift of mountain ranges or clashes between tectonic plates occurred mainly in Australia's early history, when it was still a part of Gondwana. Australia is situated in the middle of the tectonic plate, and therefore currently has no active volcanism. Flora The continent primarily sits on the Indo-Australian plate. Because of its central location on its tectonic plate Australia doesn't have any active volcanic regions, the only continent with this distinction. The lands were joined with Antarctica as part of the southern supercontinent Gondwana until the plate began to drift north about 96 million years ago. For most of the time since then, Australia New Guinea remained a continuous landmass. When the last glacial period ended in about 10,000 BC, rising sea levels formed Base Strait, separating Tasmania from the mainland. Then between about 8,000 and 6,500 BC, the lowlands in the north were flooded by the sea, separating New Guinea, the Aru Islands, and the Australian mainland. A northern arc consisting of the New Guinea Highlands, the Raja Ampat Islands, and Halmahura was uplifted by the northward migration of Australia and subduction of the Pacific Plate. The outer Banda Arc was accreted along the northwestern edge of the continent, it includes the islands of Timor, Tanimbar, and Saram. Papua New Guinea has several volcanoes, as it is situated along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Volcanic eruptions are not rare, and the area is prone to earthquakes and tsunamis because of this. Mount Wilhelm in Papua New Guinea is the second highest mountain in the continent, and at 4,884 meters above sea level, Puncake Jaya is the highest mountain. Among the fungi, the remarkable association between Cideria gunii and its associated trees in the genus Nothafagus is evidence of that drift. The only other places where this association is known are New Zealand and southern Argentina and Chile. Prominent features of the Australian flora are adaptations to aridity and fire which include scleromorphy and serotiny. These adaptations are common in species from the large and well-known families Proteaceae, Myrtaceae, and Fabaceae. Fauna for about 40 million years Australia New Guinea was almost completely isolated. During this time, the continent experienced numerous changes in climate, but the overall trend was towards greater aridity. When South America eventually separated from Antarctica, the development of the cold Antarctic circumpolar current changed weather patterns across the world. For Australia New Guinea, it brought a marked intensification of the drying trend. The great inland seas and lakes dried out. Much of the long-established broad-leaf deciduous forest began to give way to the distinctive hard-leaved sclerophyllous plants that characterize the modern Australian landscape. The flora of New Guinea is a mixture of many tropical rainforest species with origins in Asia, together with typically Australasian flora. Typical southern hemisphere flora include the conifers podocarpus and the rainforest emergence araucaria and agathes, as well as tree ferns and several species of eucalyptus. Climate For many species, the primary refuge was the relatively cool and well-watered Great Dividing Range. Even today, 
pockets of remnant vegetation remain in the cool uplands, some species not much changed from the Gondwanan forms of 60 or 90 million years ago. Eventually, the Australian New Guinea tectonic plate collided with the Eurasian plate to the north. The collision caused the northern part of the continent to buckle upwards, forming the high and rugged mountains of New Guinea and, by reverse buckling, the Torres Strait that now separates the two main land masses. The collision also pushed up the islands of Wallacea, which served as island stepping stones that allowed plants from Southeast Asia's rainforests to colonize New Guinea, and some plants from Australia New Guinea to move into Southeast Asia. The ocean straits between the islands were narrow enough to allow plant dispersal, but served as an effective barrier to exchange of land mammals between Australia New Guinea and Asia. History Prominent features of the Australian flora are adaptations to aridity and fire which include scleromorphy and serotiny. These adaptations are common in species from the large and well-known families Proteaceae, Myrtaceae, and Fabaceae. Due to the spread of animals, fungi, and plants across the single Pleistocene landmass the separate lands have a related biota. There are over 300 bird species in West Papua, of which at least 20 are unique to the E. Korjun, and some live only in very restricted areas. These include the grey-banded munia, Vogelkop bowerbird, and the king bird of paradise. Australia has a huge variety of animals, some 83% of mammals, 89% of reptiles, 24% of fish and insects and 93% of amphibians that inhabit the continent are endemic to Australia. This high level of endemism can be attributed to the continent's long geographic isolation, tectonic stability, and the effects of an unusual pattern of climate change on the soil and flora over geological time. Australia and its territories are home to around 800 species of bird, 45% of these are endemic to Australia. Predominant bird species in Australia include the Australian magpie, Australian raven, the pied currawong, crested pigeons, and the laughing kookaburra. The koala, emu, platypus, and kangaroo are national animals of Australia, and the Tasmanian devil is also one of the well-known animals in the country. The gona is a predatory lizard native to the Australian mainland. Indigenous History as the continent drifted north from Antarctica, a unique fauna, flora, and mycobiota developed. Marsupials and monotremes also existed on other continents, but only in Australia and New Guinea did they outcompete the placental mammals and come to dominate. New Guinea has 284 species and six orders of mammals, monotremes three orders of marsupials, rodents, and bats, 195 of the mammal species are endemic. New Guinea has a rich diversity of coral life and 1,200 species of fish have been found. Also about 600 species of reef-building coral the latter equal to 75% of the world's known total. New Guinea has 578 species of breeding birds, of which 324 species are endemic. Bird life also flourished in particular, the song birds are thought to have evolved 50 million years ago in the part of Gondwana that later became Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, and Antarctica, before radiating into a great number of different forms and then spreading around the globe. Animal groups such as macropods, monotremes, and cassowaries are endemic to Australia. There were three main reasons for the enormous diversity that developed in animal, fungal and plant life. Although New Guinea is the most northerly part of the continent, and could be expected to be the most tropical in climate, 
The altitude of the New Guinea highlands is such that a great many animals and plants that were once common across Australia and New Guinea now survive only in the tropical highlands where they are severely threatened by overpopulation pressures. In New Guinea, the climate is mostly monsoonal, southeast monsoon, and tropical rainforest with slight seasonal temperature variation. In lower altitudes, the temperature is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. But the higher altitudes, such as Mendi, are constantly around 70 degrees Fahrenheit with cool lows nearing 52 degrees Fahrenheit, with abundant rainfall and high humidity. The New Guinea highlands are one of the few regions close to the equator that experience snowfall, which occurs in the most elevated parts of the mainland. Some areas in the island experience an extraordinary amount of precipitation, averaging roughly 4,500 mm of rainfall annually. The Australian land masses climate is mostly desert or semi-arid, with the southern coastal corners having a temperate climate, such as oceanic and humid subtropical climate in the east coast and Mediterranean climate in the west. The northern parts of the country have a tropical climate. Snow falls frequently on the highlands near the east coast, in the states of Victoria, New South Wales, Tasmania and in the Australian Capital Territory. Temperatures in Australia have ranged from above 50 degrees Celsius to well below 0 degrees Celsius. Nonetheless, minimum temperatures are moderated. The El Nino Southern Oscillation is associated with seasonal abnormality in many areas in the world. Australia is one of the continents most affected and experiences extensive droughts alongside considerable wet periods. European Exploration Humans first populated eastern Wallacea, the rest of Sahul, and the Bismarck Archipelago from Sunda around 45,000 years ago, by a founding population estimated to have been at least several hundred, and having had relatively sophisticated watercraft. There was little subsequent population mixing between Wallacea and Sahul for about 30,000 years, and indeed relatively little mixing between the north and south and the east and west of Sahul after the initial dispersal of the population. Modern History Indigenous Australians are the original inhabitants of the Australian continent and nearby islands who migrated from Africa to Asia around 70,000 years ago and arrived in Australia around 50,000 years ago. They are believed to be among the earliest human migrations out of Africa. There is evidence of genetic and linguistic interchange between Australians in the far north and the Austronesian peoples of modern-day New Guinea and the islands, but this may be the result of recent trade and intermarriage. While much of the rest of the world underwent significant cooling and thus loss of species diversity, Australia and New Guinea was drifting north at such a pace that the overall global cooling effect was roughly equaled by its gradual movement toward the equator. Temperatures in Australia and New Guinea, in other words, remained reasonably constant for a very long time, and a vast number of different animal, fungal and plant species were able to evolve to fit particular ecological niches because the continent was more isolated than any other, very few outside species arrived to colonize, and unique native forms developed unimpeded, finally, despite the fact that the continent was already very old and thus relatively infertile, there are dispersed areas of high fertility. Where other continents had volcanic activity and slash or massive glaciation events to turn over fresh, unleached rocks rich in minerals, the rocks and soils of Australia and New Guinea were left largely untouched except by gradual erosion and deep weathering. In general, fertile soils produce a profusion of life, and a relatively large number of species slash level of biodiversity. 
This is because where nutrients are plentiful, competition is largely a matter of outcompeting rival species, leaving great scope for innovative CO evolution as is witnessed in tropical, fertile ecosystems. In contrast, Infertile soils tend to induce competition on an abiotic basis meaning individuals all face constant environmental pressures, leaving less scope for divergent evolution, a process instrumental in creating new species. The original inhabitants of the group of islands now named Melanesia were likely the ancestors of the present-day Papuan-speaking people. Migrating from Southeast Asia they appear to have occupied these islands as far east as the main islands in the Solomon Islands, including Makara, and possibly the smaller islands farther to the east. Particularly along the north coast of New Guinea and in the islands north and east of New Guinea, the Austronesian people, who had migrated into the area somewhat more than 3,000 years ago, came into contact with these pre-existing populations of Papuan-speaking peoples. In the late 20th century, some scholars theorized a long period of interaction, which resulted in many complex changes in genetics, languages, and culture among the peoples. In 1526-27, the Portuguese explorer Jorge de Menezes accidentally came upon the principal island in the Bayak archipelago and is credited with naming it Papua, from a Malay word Pipua, for the frizzled quality of Melanesian hair. Heading east, he eventually reported the northern coast of the Bird's Head Peninsula and the Wajio Island, and named the region Ilhas dos Papuas. In 1545 the Spaniard Inigo Ortiz de Rites sailed along the north coast as far as the Mambaramo River near which he landed, naming the island Nueva Guinea. In 1606 Spanish navigator Luis Vaz de Torres sailed along the southwestern part of the island in present-day Papua, and also claimed the territory for the King of Spain. Near the end of the 16th century, Sultanate of Ternate under Sultan Babola, had influence over parts of Papua. In 1660, the Dutch recognized the Sultan of Tidore as sovereignty over New Guinea. New Guinea thus became notionally Dutch as the Dutch held power over Tidore. In 1793, Britain established a settlement near Manakwari. However, it failed. By 1824 Britain and the Netherlands agreed that the western half of the island would become part of the Dutch East Indies. Demography Religion Languages Immigration In the quest for Terra Australis, Spanish explorations in the 17th century, such as the expedition led by the Portuguese navigator Pedro Fernandes de Quiroz, discovered the Pitcairn and Vanuatu archipelagos, and sailed the Torres Strait between Australia and New Guinea, named after navigator Luis Vaz de Torres. Willem Jans Zoan, made the first completely documented European landing in Australia in Cape York Peninsula. Abel Jans Zoan Tasman circumnavigated and landed on parts of the Australian continental coast and discovered Van Diemen's Land, New Zealand in 1642, and Fiji Islands. He was the first known European explorer to reach these islands. On April 23, 1770 British explorer James Cook made his first recorded direct observation of indigenous Australians at Brush Island near Bali Point. On April 29, Cook and crew made their first landfall on the mainland of the continent at a place now known as the Cornell Peninsula. It is here that James Cook made first contact with an aboriginal tribe known as the Guiagal. His expedition became the first recorded Europeans to have encountered its eastern coastline of Australia. 
The Commonwealth of Australia came into being when the federal constitution was proclaimed by the Governor-General, Lord Hope Toon, on January 1, 1901. From that point a system of federalism in Australia came into operation, entailing the establishment of an entirely new national government and an ongoing division of powers between that government and the states. With the encouragement of Queensland, in 1884, a British protectorate had been proclaimed over the southern coast of New Guinea and its adjacent islands. British New Guinea was annexed outright in 1888. The possession was placed under the authority of the newly federated Commonwealth of Australia in 1902 and with passage of the Papua Act of 1905, British New Guinea became the Australian Territory of Papua, with formal Australian administration beginning in 1906. The bombing of Darwin on February 19, 1942 was the largest single attack ever mounted by a foreign power on Australia. In an effort to isolate Australia, the Japanese planned a seaborne invasion of Port Moresby, in the Australian territory of New Guinea. Between July and November 1942, Australian forces repulsed Japanese attempts on the city by way of the Kokoda Track, in the highlands of New Guinea. The Battle of Bunagunna, between November 1942 and January 1943, set the tone for the bitter final stages of the New Guinea campaign, which persisted into 1945. The offensives in Papua and New Guinea of 1943-44 were the single largest series of connected operations ever mounted by the Australian Armed Forces. Following the 1998 commencement of reforms across Indonesia, Papua and other Indonesian provinces received greater regional autonomy. In 2001, special autonomy status was granted to Papua province although to date, implementation has been partial and often criticized. The region was administered as a single province until 2003, when it was split into the provinces of Papua and West Papua. Elections in 1972 resulted in the formation of a ministry headed by Chief Minister Michael Somer, who pledged to lead the country to self-government and then to independence. Papua New Guinea became self-governing on December 1, 1973 and achieved independence on September 16, 1975. The country joined the United Nations on October 10, 1975. Migration brought large numbers of Southern and Central Europeans to Australia for the first time. A 1958 government leaflet assured readers that unskilled non-British migrants were needed for labour on rugged projects, work which is not generally acceptable to Australians or British workers. Australia fought on the side of Britain in the two world wars and became a long-standing ally of the United States when threatened by Imperial Japan during World War II. Trade with Asia increased and a post-war immigration program received more than 6.5 million migrants from every continent. Supported by immigration of people from more than 200 countries since the end of World War II, the population increased to more than 23 million by 2014. Christianity is the predominant religion in the continent although large proportions of Australians belong to no religion. Other religions in the region include Islam, Buddhism and Hinduism, which are prominent minority religions in Australia. Traditional religions are often animist, found in New Guinea. Islam is prevalent in the Indonesian New Guinea and is a minority religion in Australia's capitals, such as Sydney and Melbourne. Many Papuans combine their Christian faith with traditional indigenous beliefs and practices. Economy The Aboriginal Australian languages, 
including the large Pamaniungan family, and the Papuan languages of New Guinea and neighboring islands, including the large Trans New Guinea family, are the native language groups in the continent. Predominant languages include English in Australia, Indonesian in New Guinea and Papuan in Papua New Guinea. Immigration to Australia have brought overseas languages such as Italian, Greek, Arabic, Filipino, Mandarin, Vietnamese, and Spanish, among others. Contact between Austronesian and Papuan resulted in several instances in mixed languages such as Mason. Talk Pison is an English Creole language spoken in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea has more languages than any other country, with over 820 indigenous languages, representing 12% of the world's total, but most have fewer than 1,000 speakers. Since 1945, more than 7 million people have settled in Australia. From the late 1970s, there was a significant increase in immigration from Asian and other non-European countries, making Australia a multicultural country. Sydney is the most multicultural city in Oceania, having more than 250 different languages spoken with about 40% of residents speaking a language other than English at home. Furthermore, 36% of the population reported having been born overseas, with top countries being Italy, Lebanon, Vietnam, and Iraq, among others. Melbourne is also fairly multicultural, having the largest Greek-speaking population outside of Europe, and the second largest Asian population in Australia after Sydney. Australia is the only first world country in the Australian New Guinea continent, although the economy of Australia is by far the largest and most dominant economy in the region and one of the largest in the world. Australia's per capita GDP is higher than that of the UK, Canada, Germany and France in terms of purchasing power parity. The Australian Securities Exchange in Sydney is the largest stock exchange in Australia and in the South Pacific. In 2012, Australia was the 12th largest national economy by nominal GDP and the 19th largest measured by PPP adjusted GDP. Tourism in Australia is an important component of the Australian economy. In the financial year 2014-15, tourism represented 3.0% of Australia's GDP contributing a $47.5 billion to the national economy. In 2015, there were 7.4 million visitor arrivals. Politics Culture Sport Mercer Quality of Living Survey ranks Sydney 10th in the world in terms of quality of living, making it one of the most livable cities. It is classified as an alpha and world city by GAWC. Melbourne also ranked highly in the world's most livable city list, and is a leading financial centre in the Asia-Pacific region. Papua New Guinea is rich in natural resources which account for two-thirds of their export earnings. Though PNG is filled with resources, the lack of countries development led foreign countries to take over few sites and continued foreign demand for PNG's resources and as a result, the United States constructed an oil company and began to export in 2004 and this was the largest project in PNG's history. Papua New Guinea is classified as a developing economy by the International Monetary Fund. Strong growth in Papua New Guinea's mining and resource sector led to the country becoming the sixth fastest growing economy in the world in 2011. Australia is a federal parliamentary constitutional monarchy with Elizabeth II at its apex as the Queen of Australia a role that is distinct from her position as monarch of the other Commonwealth realms. 
The Queen is represented in Australia by the Governor-General at the federal level and by the Governors at the state level, who by convention act on the advice of her ministers. There are two major political groups that usually form government, federally and in the states, the Australian Labour Party and the Coalition which is a formal grouping of the Liberal Party and its minor partner, the National Party. Within Australian political culture, the coalition is considered centre-right and the Labour Party is considered centre-left. Papua New Guinea is a Commonwealth realm. As such, Queen Elizabeth II is its sovereign and head of state. The Constitutional Convention, which prepared the draft constitution, and Australia, the outgoing metropolitan power, had thought that Papua New Guinea would not remain a monarchy. The founders, however, considered that imperial honours had a cachet. The monarch is represented by the Governor-General of Papua New Guinea, currently Bob Dadi. Papua New Guinea are unusual among Commonwealth realms in that Governors-General are elected by the legislature, rather than chosen by the executive branch. Since 1788, the primary influence behind Australian culture has been Anglo-Celtic Western culture, with some indigenous influences. The divergence and evolution that has occurred in the ensuing centuries has resulted in a distinctive Australian culture. Since the mid-20th century, American popular culture has strongly influenced Australia particularly through television and cinema. Other cultural influences come from neighbouring Asian countries, and through large-scale immigration from non-English-speaking nations. The Australian Museum in Sydney and the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne are the oldest and largest museums in the continent, as well as in Oceania. Sydney's New Year's Eve celebrations are the largest in the continent. It is estimated that more than 7,000 different cultural groups exist in Papua New Guinea, and most groups have their own language. Because of this diversity, in which they take pride, many different styles of cultural expression have emerged, each group has created its own expressive forms in art, performance art, weaponry, costumes, and architecture. Papua New Guinea is one of the few cultures in Oceania to practice the tradition of bride price. In particular, Papua New Guinea is world famous for carved wooden sculpture, masks, canoes, storyboards. Australia has a tradition of Aboriginal art which is thousands of years old, the best known forms being rock art and bark painting. Evidence of Aboriginal art in Australia can be traced back at least 30,000 years. Examples of ancient Aboriginal rock artworks can be found throughout the continent notably in national parks such as those of the UNESCO listed sites at Uluru and Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory, but also within protected parks in urban areas such as at Kuring Gai Chase National Park in Sydney. Aboriginal culture includes a number of practices and ceremonies centered on a belief in the dream time. Reverence for the land and oral traditions are emphasized. Popular sports in Papua New Guinea include various codes of football, cricket, volleyball, softball, netball, and basketball. Other Olympic sports are also gaining popularity, such as boxing and weightlifting. Rugby league is the most popular sport in Papua New Guinea, which also unofficially holds the title as the national sport. The most popular sport in Australia is cricket, the most popular sport among Australian women is netball, while Australian rules football is the most popular sport in terms of spectatorship and television ratings. Australia has hosted two Summer Olympics. Melbourne 1956 and Sydney 2000. Also, Australia has hosted four editions of the Commonwealth Games, 
and is scheduled for a fifth. In 2006, Australia joined the Asian Football Confederation and qualified for the 2010 and 2014 World Cups as an Asian entrant. Africa Antarctica Asia Australia Europe North America South America Afro-Eurasia America Eurasia Oceania Coordinates 26 degrees south 141 degrees east slash 26 degrees south 141 degrees east slash dash 26, 141.